Greetings and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I'm Mateo and I'm starting a brand new career in 1.6. I'll be leaving all the options default. It's just going to be a normal playthrough. Let's get started. This guide is intended for anybody who's kind of lost when they're starting a new career and doesn't know how to get started efficiently. We're going to hop into Mission Control and take these top two contracts. I'm just going to put a command pod with a solid fuel booster on it. I'm going to cut the fuel back quite a bit because I don't need the height yet. And a parachute and six mystery goo containers. That will be number one. Oops. Fix the staging. I always forget to fix that. Okay. Gonna observe two of these goos. Get the third one ready. Launch. Click it while it's in the air. Just finish off the rest while you're in the air and get that crew report. Then we can collect all these. Pop the parachute and physics warp 4x our way down. Okay, should be 28 science. Perfect. R&D, I'm going all boosters. Contracts. Escape atmosphere and orbit Kerbin. We should be able to do both of these. I don't know, I haven't played since the patch, so I'm not sure. We're going to start with a pod, parachute, no decoupler, single staged orbit. That's 10 tanks. We'll put a swivel on it. A couple fins. And I'm just going to toss couple mystery goo for bonus science. I don't need that many though. And we can actually hide these a bit. There, I like that. This is number two. To fix the staging. And that's good. We should reach orbit. SAS on, full power. I'm going to throttle back just a little bit. Still in a thick atmosphere. I really don't want to be wasting fuel going against, gra or going against the atmosphere. Just barely start dipping into that gravity turn. I'll give it a little more throttle now. Commit to the turn. Check the apoapsis. I'm going to stop it right at 70. Waiting until this gets up to about 60. Okay, 
level myself out here. And we're just going full boost at the Apoapsis. If I get too close, I can go up just a little bit. That way I don't go past it. Checking fuel. I'm gonna get a little closer before I use the rest of the fuel here. And orbit. Yep, we have entered orbit. Just gonna observe the goo. I should have done this one before we had entered orbit while we're still out of the atmosphere. That's okay. All right, 206 Delta V to get home. Sometimes I like to try to land on KSC, but I'm not gonna do it this time. It's only our second craft. It only cost about 7,000 credits. Not worried about the money yet. I'm just going to try to physics warp through the most of this. The ship should be fine. I'll lose these tail fins, but the rest of the ship will be fine. I like to watch the electric charge here too, because it's going to run out. And at least I know why I lose control. Okay, I took physics warp off, so it doesn't start flexing the ship oddly. I'm also going to increase the altitude in which this chute opens quite a bit. We'll do 35. And that's just because it's so, such a large ship with just one chute, it takes a little while to slow it down. Okay, now I'm waiting for this red here to go yellow or white. Pop the shoot. Hope to see this drop. If it goes up, I'll use boost. There you go. Okay, I got 111 Delta V to try to land it upright. It is possible. Always ready to click recover vessel though if things go hectic. Make sure we're not going 4x speed. Oh. And recover. There we go. Orbit on the second flight. And that's how you get started in your Kerbal Space Program career. Leave me a like or comment if you'd like to see the next episode. Thanks, guys.